Hi everyone, as you can see I'm at home, like you all should be. I just want to let you know that we shot this video about Renosterfontein before the whole corona outbreak. So on that note, just stay safe, stay at home, be healthy and look after yourselves. Just got here at Renosterfontein, excited to get the lines in the water. But before we do that, we've been getting a lot of questions about the shirts that we're wearing. So they are for sale now, just check the link below, follow the instructions there and you can actually buy some of these shirts if you like to. We've also added the caps, so they're all available, just follow the link below. I got invited by a great friend of mine to a new place called Renosterfontein situated in the Waterberg mountains now at first when we got here I saw this little lake in the mountains and I thought to myself wow it's just beautiful it's so secluded and it's just the perfect place for a getaway even for a family but we just had the most amazing time here the wildlife is amazing the bird life is amazing and tranquility is what you get when you get here we were invited by Toki, so we gave him first choice of swim and he decided to fish up against the dam wall in, in the margins close to some reed beds. Very nice looking spot that uh, we all actually favoured. But since he was the host, we gave him that first choice. Then my friend Peter, who joined us on this trip, decided that he's going to fish into the open water to the right. Uh, and he found a bit of a contour with a massive plateau with some vegetation on top of it. So it's a great, it was a great looking spot and definitely one that we all actually fancied because of all the features and the, the difference in depth. So he decided to fish out into the open water towards the right and then that left me stuck in the middle of the two which I wasn't too happy about but me being me I decided to try and fish as far as I could because I was stuck in the middle I thought that if I fish closer in my fish would get cut off by the two anglers next door to me so I decided to fish on 115 meters and 120 uh, in about five meters depth so it was quite deep and the bottom was quite soft where I was fishing and without any real uh, features underneath the surface. This already uh, was a gamble because I would usually like to fish at least one rod in an area where there's a few features about for obvious reasons. Uh, although I wasn't too happy about it, I still decided to put a big bed of bait down because I knew that was the only thing that was going to be able to draw the fish towards me. And um, we actually all sort of followed the same plan. We all put out a nice bed of bait on the three different spots. And in hindsight, when we sat on the bank and we looked at the spots that we all chose to fish, if I would have fished alone with three rods, those were the three spots that I would have chosen myself in any way. So I think we had the best spots covered in any way between the three of us. So we were very excited to see what would happen that first day and of course that first night. That first evening we settled in quite early as we got up very early that morning to get here and after a very nice dinner that Toki and his wife uh, gratefully cooked for us we settled in and uh, it was about two o'clock that morning we got awoken by a, that prolific alarm sound. Unfortunately it wasn't mine but it was Peter's alarm and he caught a fish of about 4 kilos, 10 pounds. A little bit later he caught another one on ten, of about 10 pounds on his margin spot uh, close to that, that feature that he found close to the vegetation in the water. So that spot was already producing fish but the fishing was very very slow. At the break of dawn we were all up having a nice coffee sitting and just waiting for another reel run. Sadly <clears throat> it didn't happen straight away. So what we decided to do was we all went in and we put some more bait down uh, just to try and kickstart 
and get some kind of a reaction out of the fish we decided to to boost all three of our swims again with a bit of bait and this definitely worked because maybe an hour after we've done that I got my first proper bite please remember to like our video tell us what you think in the comments below and please remember to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any future episodes Yay. First fish on a new lake is always the best feeling and with a fish like this I'm sure anybody will agree. He looks massive but I don't think he weighs that much. Bit of damage on the fish, he's not in the greatest condition but I'll take him any day as a first fish on a new venue. Uh, taken on that orange pop up, 115 meters on the spot just after I fed about 40 minutes after I fed some bait and he responded quite quickly so let's hope for more of these. Not long after that Peter also got some action on his rods and uh, landed another fish of about seven and a half kilos. Now his PB at the time was just under eight kilogram. In the meantime he went out with a boat and he found himself a nice spot about 190 to 200 meters from the bank um, that he identified with the echo sounder. He saw some fish activity in the area but he also saw a nice sloping bottom in quite deep water, five meters of water and he decided he was going to mouse trap that area. He was going to put a bait down just with a hand, two, two or three handfuls of bait around it, not too much, just enough for one or two fish to take the bait and it worked an absolute treat. My friend Peter here is uh, showing us how it's done and he's making use of a spot that he found with a boat about 140 yards out. Hey Peter? Around about. Yeah, and he's, this is his third fish he's caught now in the, about the space of an hour. So he's doing very well. This might just be his new personal best. Well done Peter. Thanks Neville. You want to tell us what you caught this fish on? What bait did you use and what strategy, the method? It's a, it's a simple yellow pop-up 15, 12 mils. Yeah, 12 mils. Yeah, 12 mils. On and top uh, of a? On top of a plain kabumili, just on the normal spinner rig. Helicopter style. Yeah, and I just pop it out there with a little bit of a trap. mouse trap method. Yeah, and that's delivering the goods at the moment. So uh, let's just see how this possible PB will look like in your hands. It's got a massive big mouth. Here we go. Oh. How does it feel? Yeah. Personal best. Feels like 10 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll confirm that just now when we put it on the scale. But for now, well done. Peter is showing us how it's done. This is Unfortunately, against my rules, it's the casting carper. I'm not allowed to use that boat. So, Peter, you've got it all for yourself. Thanks, eh? Keep going. Thanks, man. And that was absolutely the highlight of this trip. Uh, being there with him, sharing that moment with him, that's always nice to have that camaraderie between friends where he catches a PB. My personal advice for anyone that wants to come and visit this beautiful lake, 
is uh, I think the time that we came here now was a bit the fish weren't on the bite that's that's quite obvious but the fish are here and they're beautiful big fish so my advice would be if you come here do not overfeed choose your spots wisely and choose different depths try and fish one rod in about two meters of water even even shallower right in the margins doesn't matter where you sit around the dam you'll find a great variance in depth all over this place so try and fish one rod in a very shallow area try and fish your other rod in a very deep area because the the water goes down to five meters in depth um, so try and fish one rod there with a mouse trap type method and then another rod in about three meters of water then you know you have all your bases covered and that way you'll soon figure out what to do because the fish will tell you where they want to be where they want to feed um, in this case it was clear the fish preferred the deeper water especially the bigger fish so if you continue just feeding that depth of water the five meter depth of water and putting your bait down being patient you'll definitely catch nice fish that's my advice for first timers coming here uh, but for myself for this trip I just feel like I should have fished maybe one rod a bit closer where I found a shallower depth three and a half meters on a harder bottom um, but I started still to fish on 120 meters on a softer bottom in, in deeper water and it didn't really produce I only got that one fish with the fishing being so tough it's always difficult to find a good hook bait and a good bait to feed with but we all went in with what we knew what we have faith in and that would be a mixture of particles containing maize hemp seed tiger nuts and other finer particles the best hook hook bait that we used was definitely a pop-up a single pop-up or just a a piece of maize with a pop-up on top so a critically balanced bait we didn't really manage to catch a lot on tiger nuts this trip even though the information we got before we got here said that tiger nuts is the way to go on this trip we didn't do too well with tiger nuts so it's always good to play around with baits but stay with what you know works and I'm sure you'll have success like I have I caught that fish on a, on a bright orange pop-up flavored with a citrus flavor and Peter had all these fish just in the opposite direction so he used a pineapple pop-up on top of a piece of maize so I think the bait isn't that important I think it's more about finding the fish and then just putting that mouse trap down with a bit of loose feed and you'll definitely snare big end. Upon arrival at Ronosterfontein you are greeted with tented accommodation, beautifully built with a patio and a built-in braai. You also have a very beautiful and neat ablution facility with showers and toilets that's clean and neat, that's kept clean and neat. So you need not worry, the facilities are second to none. If you want any more information about the place, check in the description below and click on the link and that will take you to the page to their Facebook page you can also check them out on Instagram they have recently now started their page there so for any of you that's interested in visiting the place give them a call and you will be surprised